Welcome to another edition of Humanode in Simple Terms. I'm Shannon Higgins, a core member of Humanode and your host of the day. Today, I'd like to talk about Ethereum Virtual Machines, or in short, EVM, in Humanode. I'm sure everyone knows what an EVM is. In simple terms, you can think of the EVM as a virtual machine that exists on the Ethereum network. It allows developers to write and deploy smart contracts, which are self-executing agreements with predefined rules and conditions. To keep it simple, Let's say I promise to give my child an allowance of $10 a month for one year, no matter what. One way to make this happen is I create a special wallet with $120. A smart contract could be put in place that would automatically transfer $10 from the special wallet to the wallet of my child on the first of each month, making sure that I don't forget to give my child that $10, even if I don't feel like it. But in general, these smart contracts can represent various things from financial transactions to digital assets or even complex applications and are the cornerstone of decentralized finance, Web3, and decentralized applications, otherwise known as DApps. Even though EVM is not the only smart contract platform out there, it is far by the most popular and used. So, what does EVM have to do with Humanoid? The answer is rather simple. We are in the process of building and brushing up the Humanoid EVM compatible chain. So yes, it is rather important. Why is it important? Well, I could say that there are three major points. The first is compatibility. As we all know, EVM has become a widely adopted and established platform for developing smart contracts and dApps on the Ethereum blockchain. Naturally, Humanode recognizes the importance of compatibility with the existing EVM ecosystem. By maintaining compatibility with EVM, it will allow developers to leverage their existing knowledge, tools, and resources when building applications on the Humanode platform. This makes it easier for developers to transition their projects from Ethereum to Humanode or utilize both platforms simultaneously. Since it will be cheaper to run smart contracts on the Humanode platform, this can be good for all involved. The second point that could be mentioned is the developer community. EVM has a very large and active developer community and by being EVM compatible, Humanode can attract developers familiar with the programming languages, tools, and libraries used for developing on Ethereum to build and deploy applications on the Humanode platform. This helps expand the Humanode ecosystem and fosters innovation across multiple blockchains. And finally, interoperability. EVM has become a standard for smart contracts and apps and many blockchain networks have adopted its standards. By ensuring compatibility with EVM, Humanode enables interoperability with other EVM-compatible networks too. This means that assets and functionalities can seamlessly be exchanged between different blockchains, expanding the possibilities for collaboration and interaction between diverse blockchain ecosystems. In a nutshell, we would be able to work with a multitude of projects out there. They would be able to work with us, and partnerships will be even easier to form. So then, here comes the next big question. We can all see that Humanode will benefit from EVM. Who doesn't, right? Well, what does EVM, or more specifically, the existing EVM ecosystem get from Humanode joining the fray? The answer is even simpler. An EVM-compatible Humanode chain brings numerous benefits to the Ethereum-based ecosystems as well, particularly in helping developers add civil resistance to their dApps and smart contracts using Humanode unique bioauthentication technology. The enhanced security provided by Humanode's bioauthentication technology significantly improves civil resistance. 
and it ensures that each participant in the network is uniquely identifiable and prevents the creation of multiple identities. Imagine how many Web3 projects have been longing for this. Having to deal with the civil attacks has been their, one of their greatest nightmares, but with no immediate solution. Imagine how smart contracts can gain an additional layer of security by having them being bioauthenticated. Great, you say. And yes, I know what your next question is. One EVM. For that question, I'll have to give you the answer you hate the most. Soon. But to give you a hint, in essence, we've developed an alpha version of the solution. Both the EVM and emulation layer, as well as the RPC API, are robust and reliable. And the only remaining task is to fine-tune the proper configuration. We are in the final stages of this process and are currently making the necessary adjustments for a fully functional solution. So yes, you can expect us to launch testnets for the EVM compatible chain as soon as we guarantee that it is safe, confirm that all known major bugs have been dealt with, and deem it ready to go up through the brush up process. So yes, once again, soon, very soon. Thank you for joining me today for this episode of Humanode in Simple Terms, and hope to see you again next time. Ta-ta for now.